Welcome to the 54th edition of the Los Angeles Press Club's Journalism Awards tonight is special because there will also be an award handed out to Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein. The President's Award for Impact of the Media 40 years after Watergate. Maybe that story would never have been uncovered if it wasn't for that those then young reporters kept on digging and also had the support of their newspaper Washington Post. A lot of other reporters here tonight will give, get awards and prizes for good journalism, for investigative journalism that the Sanders Press Club wants to award. This award is, is for the, the impact on the media, but how about the media's impact on the presidency? Did much change with Watergate? The media's impact on the presidency, I think presidents are much more uh, determined to keep hold of the information process, uh, to try and shape the message, uh, to get it out to people over the heads of the, of the press, uh, that they maintain a huge apparatus dedicated to doing that, uh, and uh, they're fairly successful at it because we're not good enough at our job. Well, I am here because, number one, I love the press club and all that they represent, but I am very excited to be here to support my friend David Goldstein. There are so few great television investigative reporters left in the business. Budget cuts have been so difficult for so many stations, but David has remained, he's kept that department together, and he's just done so much great reporting for Greater Los Angeles. Not just telling great stories, but he's done things that have changed Los Angeles for the better. So I, uh, I'm just excited to be here to support him. So what do you think of the state of investigative journalism? It's, uh, the award's great. I mean, um, you know, the fact that I'm, I'm, I'm getting a Lifetime Achievement Award as an investigative reporter, I think is great. And the press club should be proud of that because we're losing too many investigative reporters around the country to budget cuts. So yeah. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a great honor. Do you think, uh, what kind of uh, impact do you think Watergate had, being that they are honored here too? Incredible impact. I mean, I remember as a young teen growing up, uh, reading about Watergate, uh, about what reporters can do to basically change the world and change the course of history. And I know I saw that and it guided me toward uh, journalism and probably tens of thousands of reporters around the country. Do you think some were guided there for the wrong reasons, that they wanted to be in a movie and look like Robert Redford? <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't think so, no. Uh, but now you say there's no funding. Is that a big problem that uh, the media world has changed so much in, in, uh, the, in uh, how consumers get their news and, and what kind of news they get? It's always changing. I mean, it's been changing uh, in the you know, 20 or so years that I've been in Los Angeles. So there's always going to be different avenues of how people get news. But I think on a local level, you know, where I come from, at Channel 2 or Channel 9, you still people look for local news on TV stations or newspapers like the LA Times. And uh, I think there's still going to be a need for that in the future, hopefully. One of the things they're talking about, we're honoring tonight, are the journalists that did the, uh, uncover the Watergate scandal. How did that, uh, how, how much do you remember that? How, how did that, do you think, how much did it affect, uh, well, the world? Well, it, it did. And it, it, it also was a big deal at the time. I mean, I was young, of course. How old I was, I was, I think I was 72. I was modeling in New York at that time. Okay. And, um, and it was such a big deal, and these two reporters becoming so famous for this, it was so interesting. I always read the New York Times at that at that point, but um, and I wasn't much much into TV, so we. But I followed it in the newspapers, and then of course when the movie came out with, with two of my favorite actors, and uh, yeah. it was just yeah, it was such a great movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, what was it like for a fake president to hand out a prize to guys <laughs> that, that overthrew a president? And well. Um, you know, for me to have met uh, half of the Woodward uh, Bernstein team was a great, great honor. And uh, uh, I, I, you know, as soon as they asked me to be a part of this evening uh, and they asked me to present the award or co-present it with Paulie, I accepted without hesitation because these men had such a profound influence on my generation and on not just on journalism but on our, on, on our whole history the whole history of the last 40 years yeah. uh, that it, it begins with Woodward Bernstein because they brought an administration uh, to a place that it had to admit 
uh, it's wrongdoing, it's criminality, and they reinforce the faith that that the country was founded on. And, and you, I'm sorry. Yeah, and so uh, you couldn't have chosen more heroic figures to give the award to tonight, and so I was just very proud to be a part of it. Okay. Uh, well, Diana Jungeos, the evening is over. How 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 does it feel? <laughs> it feels great actually it was a good evening and you know it's a lot to put on so you never know it's a live event so you don't know what's going to go wrong and i think it worked out pretty well yeah. watergate woodward and bernstein how much did that mean for the world and for you <laughs> oh it meant a tremendous amount because i was a kid of course during that uh, era and uh, in terms of, uh, of some of what uh, morton sheen said about the generational thing uh, was was I wrote the script, so it had something to do with my personal view about how the world changed and how uh, we had hope again at the end of Watergate that these two young guys could expose that kind of massive corruption in government, and, and it was just a, a, a very positive experience for everybody that they did what they did, and uh, the impact is still there to this day. How did it feel for you when Richard Nixon resigned? Was it? I think I was in awe of everything that had happened uh, and that this was great for the country, that he was leaving office uh, and that the system had worked. And I, I thought it was a really uh, powerful testament to what happens in this country when the system works.